Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Why in the Morning, your favorite breakfast show only on Y254 channel. As you know, it is Tuesday, Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And for today, we have a very special segment for you because have you ever been interested in joining the music business? Today, we have a CEO, a producer, an artist in studio together. So yes, put your hands together for Vanilla Flavor. If you do want to uh, participate in the conversation, it's at Y254 channel on Twitter. The hashtag is Why in the Morning. On Facebook, we're at Y254. On Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. On DSTV channel 376 on Signet 824, start time 54. So make sure you just slide into our DM. But it's about time I let my guests introduce themselves so that you can know exactly who is who. All right, turn the cards and say good morning to the Wine in the Morning family. Hey, what's up, people? It's Doski over here. I'm an artist from Vanilla Studios. I'm here with my CEO and producer, and we're here to introduce good music to you guys. Tune in and enjoy the show. Great. Hey, what up? This is the iconic, the producer, Vanilla Flavor. Yeah. Yeah, good morning. It's Ray Miles. I'm the CEO and director of Vanilla Flavor Studios. Yeah, the music director too of Vanilla Flavor Studios. Thank you so much. All right, for somebody who wants to start their own record label, you've been around since the year 2015. How did you get your team together? How did you get all set up, Mr. Ray Miles? It's not an easy journey. Mm -hmm. It's been a hard task mm -hmm. to come through all this, you see. Mm -hmm. It's been a tough journey. So if you want to start, uh, the first thing you have to know is know what you're getting first into. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't get into the music business and expect tomorrow to be a big name. Mm -hmm. You must uh, learn how to be patient mm -hmm. because it requires a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. Because it took us from 2015 to now it's 2019. Mm -hmm. We've been there, we've been behind the scenes, mm -hmm. we've been there. People don't know that we've been there behind the scenes, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. We've been working b for big names, people don't know. Mm -hmm. But this is the time now we are coming out, mm -hmm. you see. So uh, one thing is go first mm -hmm. and learn. The, the, the most key is mm -hmm. patience. 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 So where did you get financing from? Because most people usually ask, oh, we don't have money, we don't have money to start a business. What would you say? I say money is not everything, mm -hmm. actually. Is money is actually the only thing. It's not everything, actually. Mm -hmm. We need money to <laughs> actually, yeah. <laughs> right, that was very helpful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you need money to do things. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if you don't, if you don't have uh, enough cash, mm -hmm. you have to utilize on what you have. Mm -hmm. So I can say, like, we started from humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. We didn't have everything, actually. Mm -hmm. we, the little we had and the, and the savings that we had, mm -hmm. and we had to connect to people to get and source uh, maybe a few things. Mm -hmm. That's how we kick-started our, mm -hmm. our, our label. Mm -hmm. Now here we are again. Well, before I move to your producer and uh, Doski himself yeah. here, I'd like to finish yeah. with the CEO first. Yeah. How did you get your links, your network? You've worked with the biggest of the biggest. I've seen Matonya, my boy, my guy. Yeah. Yes, please let us know. How, how did you build your network over the years? Okay, I didn't start from Vanilla. People don't know. I started working in other studios, actually. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Started working in other studios. Mm -hmm. I started at uh, Still Alive. Mm -hmm. That's where Still Alive Studios, if you've, if you've ever heard of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I started, like, my journey of music. That's mm -hmm. where I started learning, actually, the music business. Mm -hmm. And I didn't start as a... I, I was there as a designer. Actually, uh, yeah. I was doing design, actually, there. Uh -huh. I started to learn and see these artists upcoming, you see, and I started having this interest mm -hmm. of having a label and see, mm -hmm. you see, you see Bahati there, the, the likes, you see. Mm -hmm. So I, I got this interest from there, mm -hmm. and I knew how... Uh, the producer of Still Alive, Timo, actually, I've learned so much, a lot from him. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we went... Uh, I w we joined Pacho Entertainment. Mm -hmm. No, that's where I started meeting all these people yeah. because at Pacho, you know, that's where we started now doing a lot of videos, a lot of videos. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. there was a guy called Crystal Prime. Mm -hmm. We were shooting videos at Pacho. We mm -hmm. were directing with him. Oh, so uh -huh. uh, that's why I got all these connects from. Mm -hmm. And then from there, now I saw uh, I, I I saw a big I saw a bigger gap mm -hmm. of uh, what these old people they didn't have. Mm -hmm. You see, from Still Alive to. But your entertainment, uh -huh. I saw a gap. I say, uh, I saw like I, I could do something that these guys are not doing, mm -hmm. and maybe now, maybe um, take music to another level. Mm -hmm. So that's where I started my own labor. But I knew it wasn't, e it's not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. But I knew like someday, sometime, mm -hmm. we're gonna reach there. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now, you see, I'm still working with the same people that I used to uh -huh. produce for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay, so the iconic Triple B, you know, the braids behind the beats. <laughs> where did you find your interest in music? And where did you teach yourself to become an audio engineer? Because your work is, I mean, like, amazing. <laughs> well, first of all, thanks. Mm -hmm. um, 
my interest developed way back mm -hmm. since my dad has been working on this. Oh, uh -huh. so um, since he was doing it, mm -hmm. I thought I could do it too. Mm -hmm. So he taught me a few things. Mm -hmm. Then we left it at that. Mm -hmm. So that was back in primary. Mm -hmm. In so primary? Wow. Yeah. Long time ago. <laughs> yeah. So um, as I went to high school, mm -hmm. you know, the piano playing and all that, mm -hmm. all the things I've been doing are mm -hmm. music related. Mm -hmm. The drama stuff, mm -hmm. the um, music festival stuff, mm -hmm. all the way. Hiya. So when I knew him, it was when I was still in high school. Mm -hmm. But he used to know. He used to tell me that I could be the producer to his label someday. Hey, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Hey, okay. It was like way back. We've known each other for like way too long. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been growing since, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically, it's self-taught and, of course, for my pups. I refuse to believe that all that magic <laughs> is self-taught. <laughs> Anyway, let me fly back to Dilski over here. What's up, Dilski? You have a song you're dropping for us today. Yeah, sure. So where did you find yourself in music? What happened? And you sing real good, by the way. I think <laughs> uh, that's a tough question, but I'll answer it easily. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a family business. Uh -huh, uh -huh. My sister sings. Mm -hmm. My cousin is a producer. Mm -hmm. Uh, my other brother sings, mm -hmm. so and my bro is also a manager mm -hmm. for big artists out here. I think you know him, uh, maybe you've seen him before. Yes. He was also done modeling and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. for me, this has been like a calling, mm -hmm. even though I've been running away from it. Mm -hmm. Finally, it has caught up with me and now I have to live the life. Why have you been running? <laughs> where, where did you try to run away from it? <laughs> I guess I'll have to put that on the education system we have. Because uh -huh. you know very well our education system does not support artists, mm -hmm. musicians, and people who are crafty. Mm -hmm. So you're taught to go look for a job and live a, a, like a civilized mm -hmm. kind of life, mm -hmm. which is a lie to the artist mm -hmm. normally. Mm -hmm. Because once that is done is that you put in a box mm -hmm. and your creativity goes out the window. So how did you come about the iconic and Mr. Ray Miles? Now, uh, apparently, I was recording at another studio. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't really getting the kind of music I wanted. Because mm -hmm. the way I am, mm -hmm. I am a rapper, mm -hmm. I can sing, mm -hmm. I can dance. Mm -hmm. So the, the previous studio I was in, mm -hmm. I was normally put into rapping. Oh, I was even just going to ask you your niche. Like, what would you say is your niche genre? But now it's like you're already answering the question. Yeah, so I, guess, <laughs> I guess I'm a versatile artist. Uh -huh. So whatever you throw at me, we're going to come up with magic, mm -hmm. for sure. So. The problem is I didn't feel myself uh, well as a rapper because mm -hmm. I felt like I was limited. I felt like I was going into an industry that is already that already has so many people. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. we have the likes of Calligraph, Octopizo, and you know that environment is, 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 well, is a bit... Were you threatened? That sounds like you're uh, threatened. I feel like I was threatened in a way. Oh, that's honest. Because <laughs> I feel like my singing is a bit better than the rapping. Good, okay. <laughs> so that's why I stuck to singing. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I guess that's how my journey started. That's when I decided to go and join Ray mm -hmm. and his company. Mm -hmm. And they welcomed me as a brother. Mm -hmm. And what can I say? I'm just like, this is where I want to be. Yeah, you seem very happy when yeah, they sure. bumped into you there. You are sure. very happy. And everything was flawless <laughs> and the iconic sure. was just... Slay it. Anyway, I wanted to know, and I'm glad that you brought up the competition aspect. Three miles, how do you guys deal with competition? Like you said, you're not the only ones. So what do you guys do? What's Actually, so special about vanilla flavor? Vanilla. Mm -hmm. Vanilla is very special in many kinds of ways. Mm -hmm. First of all, we do a lot of research. Mm -hmm. We don't sleep. Mm -hmm. We are not sleeping each and every day. Like uh, We can stay in studio like the whole day mm -hmm. and the whole night in studio. Mm -hmm. And still get, a, uh, get the other day, we're still there still on mm -hmm. we only sleep for a few hours so mm -hmm. because the competition is tight you see mm -hmm. and you know kenyans kenyans love good music mm -hmm. you see you cannot lie to them if you give them crap they'll just they will just throw it out of your face you see? yes so competition is tight competition is tight you can see the way like in a calligraph mm. the way they are pulling up mm. you can see many artists now boy they're on their way level yeah. if you want to work with these guys mm -hmm. you have to show them you guys are not sleeping you have to give them the best you see there are there are people who have been there in the industry mm -hmm. they, they know all the hustle of the industry so you cannot lie to them mm. so you have to create something that when he hears it and you you want to work on your on your beat or you want to work with him at your label mm -hmm. you have to give him something 
that when he hears it he says ai ata 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 penya nafanya kazi mm-hmm. they still our fiki bado okay. you see so we we doing basically a lot of research mm-hmm. both in kenya maybe we we are tunaangalia muziki mingi mm-hmm. tunaangalia muziki za nje tunaangalia muziki za ndani mm-hmm. We, alafu then tuna combine mm-hmm. tunaangalia muziki za West Africa mm-hmm. and then now we set our own bar mm-hmm. so what we do basically we mix our sound mm-hmm. we are creating actually a new sound actually mm-hmm. that's we are, if you listen to our music mm-hmm. uh, our sound if anani na any other sound yeah. it feel like uh, it's tropical then we mix it with african we mix it with west african then we have our own sound mm-hmm. yeah that's now what makes us different and special from other labels I was even just going to ask the iconic the brains behind the beats <laughs> one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you derive your inspiration from? Cuz you sound very interesting like you said tropical like your everything combined <laughs> Nigeria house I don't know what everything combined in one house. Is there any producer in, in specific that you have been listening to who inspires you or what's your inspiration where you draw your ideas from? Um I listen to so many producers. Mm-hmm. I have several. Mm-hmm. Um mostly the competition internally mm-hmm. is quite tight mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. akina ricks mm-hmm. and the likes mm-hmm. they're bringing the bar up mm-hmm. way too fast so mm-hmm. i have to like act in the same way mm-hmm. so basically the guy who inspires me the most actually there are two mm-hmm. is diplo mm-hmm. the one for mejaleza and mm-hmm. this other guy spanka ah, no wonder <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so um yeah basically that's what i do i look for things you know if i have a kick for example mm-hmm. this is the kick that that is trending right now every mm-hmm. producer is using it mm-hmm. so which one mm-hmm. is coming up in the morning mm-hmm. the next morning mm-hmm. you know i have to do that mm-hmm. because you know a producer is like a machine basically so a machine wow so <laughs> if you don't update <laughs> uh-huh. then that's where you start doing um what do you say for lack of better words mediocre mediocre bits <laughs> that's my favorite word when i'm talking about certain things yeah 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 <laughs> all right just let me slide back to you sure so what can the fans expect from you now that you're just breaking into the market you found your home as you, as i can see uh, what can we expect from you expect fire mm-hmm. expect the best mm-hmm expect hits mm-hmm. after hits after, after hits. hits after okay. hits that's my promise to you fans and uh, mm-hmm. we are going to do another project with Matonya soon mm-hmm. that's going to be like the biggest song out here for sure that much i promise i don't doubt it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mr. Rimmels, you're an artist yourself. Yeah, 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 I'm an artist. Let's talk about you singing. <laughs> what can you say is your niche and what's happening? What's going on with you? Yeah, I'm an artist, mm-hmm. but you see, I had to first slide back mm-hmm. to push the label first. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you can't handle too many things at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I'm only human, so I'll just fail all of them. Mm-hmm. So I had to sacrifice first my music mm-hmm. for other people to go first mm-hmm. and then now me coming later. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of records I've done in mm-hmm. the studio. Mm-hmm. But there's the one I've done with Matonya, I've done with other big artists that I won't name since you umetaja Matonya. Uondonda at least uondonda sema kwa and <laughs> yeah and too mm-hmm. we are dropping actually their project maybe from next week mm-hmm. people should expect mm-hmm. so fresh is gonna be a, it's gonna be a, it's a hit it's yeah. a hit it's a big song so uh, there are other artists that we have worked to in the country mm-hmm. and outside the country mm-hmm. and they're big artists too i know mm-hmm. but that's an exclusive for now we can say <laughs> <laughs> yeah for now le, le, what would you took on our project ya matonya mm-hmm. na naibo ina kampu the other one it are two surprises uh-huh. yeah for sure <laughs> but now my, okay about you asked me about my music huh? yes my music is coming out soon mm-hmm. people will start singing my music mm-hmm. because uh, i'm also singing different uh, different genres what what ashangana kenye mimi naimba you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh, what i want to do is uh, so uh, actually uh, kuna zenye zimefanywa videos na kuna zenye bado zitafanywa mm-hmm. but you see we have a plan we have a, we have dates of mm-hmm. release mm-hmm. we have uh, strategies mm-hmm. actually mm-hmm. we can just give people just the music you see mm-hmm. about, you know, people w- what people do mm-hmm. in the music business because mm-hmm. that's what the topic about mm-hmm. people just release music mm-hmm. and how do you get money mm-hmm. from that music mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. There are many companies and many platforms that you can your music can pay back. Mm-hmm. You know artists just want to release their music mm-hmm. and just expect 
the shows and stuff mm -hmm. is way way you know an artist has only 10 percent mm -hmm. and every artist that is out there let me tell you the truth mm -hmm. many of them are attacking kusikia ukweli talent artist mimi kuja kwa studio yangu na kuambia your only your, your talent is only 10 percent mm -hmm. you know artists wa kuja you know i got talent in here only only talent we only got 10 percent of the day so please you've had your fair share of cockiness yeah for sure you only got 10 percent mm -hmm. i'm giving you 90 percent mm -hmm. so what are you bringing at the table mm -hmm. for me to help you for for me to get your name out there mm -hmm. because it's not easy mm -hmm. you see it's not it's not, see about the talent mm -hmm. see about everything there is the, the music the uh, there is the marketing and mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. how we learn now start making money off your music because okay I'm okay so when i see oh what yeah. do you look for before you sign an artist what is it about doski what is it about the iconic the producer what is it what do you look for what quality number one, you look for? the number one thing i look about an artist is uh first is loyalty oh uh -huh. then he has to be honest mm -hmm. and now he has to be patient mm -hmm. only those two things only those three things of course and it's a wrap it's a wrap yeah, okay. <laughs> because most artists can uh, he can be honest mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. and uh, he can be loyal, mm -hmm. but he can be patient. Uh -huh. So uh, many artists missed one thing or two things out of those, mm -hmm. and most of the artists missed uh, the bigger percentage they missed the patience. Mm -hmm. You see, when I bring you to my label, like I'm signing you, mm -hmm. I actually have to test your patience. Mm -hmm. Me, me, we are gonna say my like. Even I, I tell the iconic of the board, you see, this mm -hmm. artist you're going to release, this artist after two years. Mm -hmm. So we have to test this patient for these two years. Mm -hmm. He has to record us and give the best music. You know, mm -hmm. an artist can sing one song and that's a rap. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the only hit he can only produce, mm -hmm. you see. Oh, so, you have to test the water. Yeah, we have to test <laughs> the water. Of course, yeah. That's a one hit wonder. Because you've seen many artists, even in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. Mm -hmm. He's never there, He's, you see. Mm -hmm. Because me, I'm a songwriter, he's a songwriter too. Mm. So yeah, we, have, we have even songwriters in the studio, actually. Mm -hmm. So. We have a big team behind us actually it's not us that we had just only here yeah. we have a very big team mm -hmm. so an artist lazima kuwe hapo ana pia na show concern unajua mm -hmm. we love doski because is we have so many artists in the studio mm -hmm. but is the artist at least ako na bd mm -hmm. and then he's showing the passion for it mm -hmm. he's grinding for it mm -hmm. he's up in the studio anytime in the middle of the night is there you guys, you know, I have this idea. We should do this. What do you think? I'm mm -hmm. telling you that 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 can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, this can do, mm -hmm. but we can do it this time. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I love about Doski. Okay. Yeah, of course. That's important for artists to know. I can see some patients up for two years. Hey, but Doski, your tracks, my God, it's gonna be a thunderstorm up in here. After you make a sound of a story, you can ask him. See, juicy too. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was dumbfounded. Yeah, it's been there. It's been there for a while. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> I never expected it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, sure. But anyway, uh, there's a song you're going to drop for us today. Yes. And it's kind of like a love song, you baby. So, uh -huh. so what was the inspiration? Is the lady in the video the one or is there the one somewhere? I thought you have a guest females, by the way. I've not seen any females so featured in your, you know, catalog. So you can tell us if you're working with any females. But wait <laughs> after Dusky tells us about this track. All right. Uh uh, for semantics, mm -hmm. uh, I will keep that private. For semantics, All right. What inspired that song mm -hmm. is basically the perception of the boy child oh. in Kenya right now. Mm -hmm. I hate it when when you try to be charismatic, when you try to be uh, what's the word? Mm -hmm. uh, what is it called? Chivalry. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> when you're trying to be, like, when you're trying to own up to chivalry mm -hmm. in Kenya, mm -hmm. people think you're following this Western culture. Mm -hmm. And I hate that about our people. Mm -hmm. So I sat down and asked myself, mm -hmm. if I write a love song mm -hmm. that actually speaks to both boys mm -hmm. and also females, mm -hmm. then they will start to appreciate the boy child more. Okay. Because now they will see that it's not only the Nigerians mm -hmm. that have like that are known romantic. to be romantic. <laughs> yeah. So I want to mm -hmm. phase out that thought uh -huh. and also teach people that we have Kenyan men mm -hmm. who can be very gentle and loving mm -hmm. and caring. Mm -hmm. So let us stop supporting all these other foreigners and mm -hmm. let's support our own. Hey. Basically, that's it. And the iconic and vanilla flavor really killed the beat, man. You guys, <laughs> kill, you guys kill, 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 kill. Thank you, thank you. Thank anyway, you. Ray, please, I'd like to know, have you guys signed any females? Are you working with any females? Yeah, we have not signed any females, mm -hmm. but we are working with some mm -hmm. females, actually, mm -hmm. you see. They are there in the label, you see. It's hard for us to sign a female right now. Why? 
they are they can catch up the speed that we are have excuse me <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. yeah you see you, you know a female will always work with time uh-huh. as we don't work with time uh-huh. we work with the apartment like uh we can say like anything that comes up that's what we do uh-huh. so we can be working on a project on a student something comes up we, we're supposed to be at an event uh-huh. at that very minute we just close everything down and just go. Mm-hmm. You see, yeah. but you see, a female will always have so many schedules. He have to be here on time on this. He can't cope up. You see, <laughs> but it's not in a bad way. Square, I see musical <laughs> bias. The economic and let you speak for yourself. We, see, we, are, not, we are not in the bad way. <laughs> I mean, I must say, I must say the truth. You see, eh? Was if Kiri at in rice pia kujati vanilla, so babu pia ni ni mrembo ama. Uh, you, you can't you can lure me, the beauty. me. of course <laughs> yeah. i'm so shocked yeah. we must say the truth actually <laughs> but actually mm-hmm. uh, we are looking into it mm-hmm. kuna, 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 there is a girl is called dochi She's fine. Dochi, Dochi, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big, it's a big <laughs> thing. Yeah. Big deal. Yeah, we're looking onto her. Is is a great artist. Mm-hmm. Actually, to to lead drop project yake last year. Mm-hmm. Ilifanya poa. Mm-hmm. Eh, lakini pia bado wajafanya kazi nyingine. Mm-hmm. She's been, she's in school actually, so mm-hmm. she has to balance in between. Okay. So, but uh, she's an artist like um, there's no 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 bigger future in her. Where? No no something in her. Oh, see you, you're so tough. Can you please stop in this conversation? <laughs> I can't, can you please give the female some hope? My God. Huh? Um, okay. He's soft-ended, actually. <laughs> so you're going to be worse. Oh, oh well. Look, I asked anyway. First of all, um, what I'm looking for for a female artist mm-hmm. is, you know, that spark. Mm-hmm. When I give you the beat and I give you the lyrics, because mm-hmm. that's what I do, mm-hmm. I expect you to like kill it from the start mm-hmm. till the end. Mm-hmm. Like you, you like intrigue somebody into listening to it. Mm-hmm. Dochi, Dochi is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but for me, I can say that I haven't got it mm-hmm. yet. Mm-hmm. Not yet. Not yet. Because I don't work with professionals. Mm-hmm. Well, Tender Saudi Academy, do mm-hmm. your thing. But I won't work with that. Mm-hmm. I'll work with your talent. Mm-hmm. You drive for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if I see the way you crave for it, the way you hustle for it, mm-hmm. that's when I'll come in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Basically, that's it. That was better. <laughs> <laughs> so much better. Yeah. Anyway, so it's about time I uh, allow, allow Mr. Doski over here to, you know, yeah. to let the fans hear a little bit, even from Ray Miles and The Iconic. My God, y'all did a good job. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So, um, I don't know, I'm going to allow everybody to give a parting shot and your social media handles in case they wanted to get in touch with you. Those people with the drive and the, you know, what yeah. if you think you have what The Iconic is looking for, you know, where can they find you? <laughs> yes. Um, um, the iconic, mm-hmm. the underscore iconic mm-hmm. on Instagram, mm-hmm. the underscore iconic the same way mm-hmm. on uh, Twitter, mm-hmm. and then the iconic mm-hmm. on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mystery Miles. Gosh. Yeah. Okay, you make a go. See you. See you. Oh yeah. Yeah, me, I'm uh, Ray Miles. Mm-hmm. Ray Miles of uh, Ray Miles official on Instagram. Mm-hmm. On Facebook, you can find me on Ray Miles. Mm-hmm. He has a tag Jamal Majid. Mm-hmm. Hey, okay. That's it. I have so many events, and uh, you can find also Vanilla Flavor Studios on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not in Twitter, mm-hmm. uh, but soon to join too. You're not part of the <laughs> KOT guys. <laughs> not the KOT I'm not the KOT fans. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's 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 my handles. Mm-hmm. So, but if you get into Vanilla Flavor Studios on Facebook, all our details are there. The numbers are there. Mm-hmm. You can contact us there. Don't fear. Mm-hmm. Just call in the numbers. Just call in the studio, and then you can express yourself what you want, and then we see if you can work together. Okay. Don't yeah. fear. Keyword. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> Dusky, are you going to work on any albums, and then where can your fans find you? Yeah, I'm actually working on an album. Mm-hmm. It's called uh, Percussion Discussion. Mm-hmm. Oh, Percussion Discussion. Yes. Damn. What's uh, that about? I'm so curious. To um, <laughs> it's basically about mm-hmm. enjoying our African sound. Oh, uh-huh. uh, I like what uh, Nigeria and South Africa are doing, so we try to uh, do the same thing with our country. Mm-hmm. Try to create our own sound mm-hmm. and try and relate our traditions with what's happening in the modern world right now. Mm-hmm. So that's basically what percussion discussion is all about. Mm-hmm. And it's not a solo album. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to do collabs. Mm-hmm. I've already done a few songs with Iconic too. Mm-hmm. 
we are going to do a song with Ray. Mm -hmm. There's a song with Matonya already done. Mm -hmm. uh, two more other collabs are on the line. Mm -hmm. So yeah, things are coming up good. Okay, so where do they find you on social uh, media? On my social media, you can find me at uh, Doski underscore 4K on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, Doski Baby on uh, Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, Doski on Facebook. And it's D-O-S-K-E-Y. All right. And actually, Doski is an acronym, mm -hmm. which means don't only sing and keep entertainment young. Mm -hmm. that is, wow. That is basically my drive. Wow. Yeah. Eh, okay. Some of us say some more time I, I, I paved the way for you. But fast, but fast. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. For the CEO, one last question. Okay. What is yep. the one thing you wish you knew then mm -hmm. that you know now when you were starting out? When I was starting out? Mm. I I wish I I didn't knew, I didn't know nothing actually. <laughs> <laughs> what did you eat today in the morning? <laughs> you know why? You know why? Mm -hmm. Because if I knew who I'll be today, mm -hmm. I wouldn't work hard. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. but you see, God is surprising me each and every day wow. and every step that I'm taking. Mm -hmm. And I always ask God each and every morning when I wake up. Thank you for life and thank you for this wisdom. Mm -hmm. And don't skip me a step. Mm -hmm. Just let me step one step at a time. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go there fast. Mm -hmm. Let me enjoy. You know, I always say one thing. There's still some happiness and sweetness in the struggle. Mm -hmm. And there's some tears and, and all those bad, nasty things in success. success. Mm -hmm. sure. You always hear this story. You're successful, but you're hurting inside. But you see, you might be not there, but you see you comfortable and you have peace inside. Mm -hmm. So ask, I just ask God, take me one step at a time. So I wish I knew nothing. I just <laughs> want to discover <laughs> it on the way that go on. <laughs> okay, vanilla flavor. We've had a taste of the CEO's flavor today. The iconic. Is there anything you wish? Or you'll, see, or you'll say, uh, I echo this sentiment. So my mother is going to say. <laughs> uh, basically, what I would say is, don't rush it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, if you love what you're doing, don't rush it. Because you always, always fail mm -hmm. if you rush things. Mm -hmm. So just keep it one step at a time mm -hmm. and keep a small circle too. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have too many friends, you'll be destroyed. Simple. All right, Dusky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're about to take the breath away of some females out here with your song. <laughs> so I don't know if you can just give us like a small taste. Because uh, we are about to play right now, so uh, you can give us like a small taste, maybe. Oh, by the way, I've not said thank you for coming. God, <laughs> thank you so much for coming before yeah. I left you. We, we oh, appreciate, and, uh, we appreciate. Yeah. And because before before you you go, mm -hmm. I just have to uh, I wanna ask mm -hmm. uh, our fans, yeah. our supporters, mm -hmm. and people who are going to be our fans in future. Mm -hmm. We are actually not the best. We are still trying, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wanna ask everybody to support us mm -hmm. and uh, expect more from us. But to kubali jinsi to live, to kwa na mapungu fu mengi. Like in order to pay the jinsi to takavoku, takavoku aya. So I don't think you guys are gonna have a problem with that. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's you never know. You never know. <laughs> you guys are a lightning. I don't know inside there. Whatever you guys are doing, whatever you guys are eating, keep doing it. Okay. Sure, sure, thanks. So dusky, dusky, dusky. The stage is yours. You know. All right. Before I before I do that, mm -hmm. uh, I want to give a little advice, mm -hmm. mostly to the artists mm -hmm. and also the fans. Mm -hmm. My. My biggest thing, since I've, I've waited too long to be in this industry, mm. I've learned a few things mm -hmm. that uh, most of our artists don't do. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why we are Kenyans. Mm -hmm. and there, there's a reason why we were brought together in this country. Mm -hmm. And we need to sit down and figure out why we are together as a country. This issue of us creating mm -hmm. side stories and all that, mm -hmm. Music is a tool that is meant to bring people together. Okay. So let's use this music to bring people together. Let's mu make this music to sit, uh, to give those stories that were not said in other fields. Mm -hmm. For example, the story of chivalry. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the story of chivalry. Uh -huh. We need to air out the fact that Kenyan men are also just as romantic. Yes. You sound just like someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Asante Nisana for watching. Please do not go anywhere. It is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time from Vanilla Flavor, produced by the iconic and Ray Miles, Dusky has come with his song, if only. Peace.
It's vanilla flavor. If you love me, girl, I have you riding in a Lambo. Nime kuno kitoka kitambo. You're sexy and I love your hustle. If you love me, girl, I get you feeling like a Lando. Your face is so perfect, no pimple. Girl, in a huna maringo, yeah. You be my ride or die. Whether we walk or fly. Till we touch the sky. Always you be mine. 